Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and this is a special request RPG Maker MV tutorial on how to do a limit break. So this is from Rog Degore, and he says, Great tutorials, man. I was wondering if you could do a skill that deals light damage to all enemies, then heals the entire party and removes all negative status effects. Yeah, it's strong, but it's like a limit skill. I can't figure out how to cast the AoE heal after the damage. Any clues? So let me show you how uh, I figured it out to do. I'm sure there's more than one way to do this, but this is how I've done it. So I've got a little thing prepared for you. This is the Tritech blade, and it's just a sword uh, shoved in a grave here. This blade is cursed, and if you take it, you'll become poisoned, blinded, and take damage. Are you sure you want to take this blade? The Tritech blade beckons you. Well, if it beckons me, I must. Yes, feel the power. But just as you pull the blade from the grave, bandits attack. Apparently they've been camping the spot for someone to get the curse by the blade, most likely so they can steal it. We may have been cursed by the blade, but we've also attained the blade's power. Deliver massive light damage to all enemies, restore 200 HP to all allies for each opponent it strikes, and remove all negative status effects from allies. You can see the HP rising. <laughs> I gotta admit, I really like this limit break. Thank you for the request, uh, Rog Degore, because I wouldn't have uh, made this if you hadn't requested it. So let's look at that skill and uh, how I made it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create a skill and you're going to call it whatever you want, give it whatever icon you like and, do, and the description, basically what it's going to do. Usually you'd want a limit break to do more than one, one thing unless it does massive damage, even though this does do massive damage. Whatever skill type you want it to award to, TP cost, I would say 100 or uh, a lot of MP or something like that. Um, usually limit breaks are would be TP related, so I would say like max TP or a high amount of TP for a skill like this. Uh, the scope for this one was uh, asked to be all enemies, and the reason why I think you should do all enemies for this particular one is because I have an interesting uh, action sequence, and I'll get to that when we get to it uh, down there. Occasion, battle screen only, otherwise you could just keep using it uh, and heal outside of battle. Well, if you put a TP cost, then it would cost you TP, but I would just say battle screen. Uh, for this limit break, I've set it to certain hit. You can specify a magic attack or physical attack if you like. Uh, give it uh, whatever animation you like and a matter of fact with this setup try different animations because it looks kind of cool with different I saw like four or five ones that I was like oh this could work this could work but I kind of decided on this one even though you can see the element is dealing holy damage so give it whatever message you want if you want it to require a type I might actually require this uh, to do a sword I'll probably do that uh, you want it to be HP damage uh, element, whatever you want, but for this request was uh, light damage, so holy and light to me are about the same. I even cross reference on the same. The attack formula, I'm saying attack times 4 plus magic attack times 4 minus the defense and the magic defense, just times 1 on those. Variants, I've gone up 5% of the variants just so it can have a higher maximum. Uh, lower floor, higher ceiling. Critical, yeah, I like to throw that in there as well. And we're going to call on a common event. But before we go to that common event, <clears throat> I'm going to show you the action sequence. Now what's interesting about this uh, skill is it's an all enemies uh, scope, but we're doing uh, the animation and the target action. Usually you don't do that. You would do your, um, your uh, what do you call it? It's, it's uh, action, perform action? Yeah, perform action. You would normally do your perform action in a whole action. So you would have setup action, and then after setup action, you'd go whole action, and then you would close that off whole action. And in here is when you would do your uh, perform action and and uh, and all of that stuff in there for for uh, the scope of that. But you saw how it hit all the enemies, and then it went at them one at a time. Uh, I think that's really interesting and cool how that how the mechanic works because it uh, all enemies were designed to be in whole action action sequences, but if you put it in target action, it creates that multiple hit uh, different type of uh, limit break effect that I I kind of like, and I'm gonna leave it uh, in the per, in the target action because I like the end result. So let me show you exactly how I did it. 
The first thing you're going to do is do a setup action in brackets, then you're going to display action so it shows the name tri tech weight. You're going to set all targets to immortal, immortal, uh, colon, space targets, comma, true. Then you're going to close the setup action. You're going to go to target action in brackets, you're going to go move target, target, comma, front base, comma, 20 frames, and then you're going to jump user, colon, space, 220 frames, and then 20, uh, 220 pixels, comma, 25 frames. Then you're going to motion swing at the user, uh, for the user. Uh, that's going to have him show, the, show him swinging the sword. Uh, you're going to perform action. You're going to action animation target. You're going to wait for that animation. You're going to action effect opponents. Yeah, this is what I meant, not perform action. But when you do action effect, that's what's dealing the damage. And you would normally do action effect opponents in a whole action. But when we put this in a target action and we're scoping it with all enemies, we get an interesting effect. Uh, then we're going to death break in case there's a counterattack since we're issuing damage. Uh, then we're going to perform finish, we're going to take off their immortal so that they can die, uh, and then we're going to call on this common event. So it won't work if you don't use action common event uh, at the bottom here. Then we're going to close that target action. So let's look at that common event. So the, the skill will just do damage, but for this uh, common event, we uh, for this limit break skill, we want it to heal the party and remove status effects. So you just create a new common event and call it the same name as the skill would probably be more appropriate. Uh, then you're going to show a battle animation that you want it to, be, to play. If you, uh, some, I notice sometimes it doesn't play every animation because if there's, sometimes there's too many uh, animations playing at the same time, it'll, it'll skip one of them. But you did see the little green doo -doo things coming up in the middle between, not between every hit, but between maybe, I think I saw it two or three times. Um, but it's, it's triggered to play uh, whenever you call on the common event, so it's still using this animation. Then we're changing HP entire party now. Keep in, keep in mind that this is like the way we set it up with the scope of all and then we put the, the perform action uh, opponents in the target action, it's going to hit multiple times, so it's actually going to trigger this multiple times, which is pretty neat. Uh, and then you would just go change state. Uh, let me show you. All of that's under actor. You just go change HP, increase the entire party by the number you want it to increase, and then change state, remove whatever uh, states that you want it to remove. Uh, and I didn't add all of the negative states because I have like a bajillion different negative st uh, states, but these are pretty much the basic ones. I think that one's a custom one. Uh, and that's pretty much it. You just make sure that the skill is calling on this common event here, and make sure that at the end of this action sequence you, you have action common event. And uh, you've got a really kick-ass limit break skill. So anyway, uh, hope hopefully you guys like this video. Remember to like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you want more content, I'm going to show you this action sequence one more time because it's pretty awesome. But, uh, yeah. I'm actually going to show, you it, uh, show it to you this time with fast forward motion. So let's see how it looks if I hold down fast forward. Oh, I said it to require 100 TP. Oh, that's anti-climactic. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.